Steven Tego. I'm Steven. AP. I'm Jared. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome, man. It's a new week, new day. Back new at day. it. Back at it. Back at it. So started, I'm, started to get a little comfortable in these chairs. I don't know. Is that a good thing or bad? Well, they're, they're okay. They're, they're, they're not bad chairs. Not bad for a conference room. <laughs> yeah. But the process is becoming comfortable. Yes. We're, I think we're starting to get refined. We got some good equipment. So it's, you know, it, it is nice when you get all the equipment and you got everything that you need. Yeah, man. A um, little bit of clutter on the table, but you know what? We're working. We're working hard. Yeah, you know, we're working you know, wicked stop. hard. Wicked. Don't even, don't stop. Don't start. <laughs> You just get me going, and all I know, of a sudden I, I have 25 I, letters in my alphabet, and no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's awesome. So let's talk about docs. Yeah. Why docs? Why not docs? Well, I think <laughs> you can't <laughs> answer a question by asking a question. That's just not fair. AP, you were going to say? Yeah, I mean, we get we, what we tackled, BIM 360 team yeah. recently. You know, this is the other big one that we get just a ton of questions on well, consistently. Wasn't there a big confusion between the two? You know, what's Great. Great question. What's Docs? What's Team? Sure. Yeah. Last week we did what's Navis and what's Glue, and really they're combined. Um, and it is something we get a lot of questions, a, a lot of a lot of traction on. Um, and honestly, a lot of the stuff that we can't figure out, we go to you anyways. <laughs> Which for good or bad, that's scary. <laughs> <usually> bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. No, it's good. I mean, there there is. We're going to dive into docs. Maybe we maybe start to try to separate the two between docs and and team. So yeah, um, we can kind of go through a little demo, kind of talk about some things that docs does very well and what we think it's different in the market. Because um, I mean, at, behind the hood, I mean, I, I think the place to start here is the launch. And you know, we launched this thing uh, in February. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not counting the days, but we launched this thing <laughs> after. A Big, nice, juicy preview at AU. Right. And we launched this thing, and, you know, uh, we all know it wasn't ready for prime time for the most part. I think sure. it had a nice vision and a nice uh, build up to that moment. Mm -hmm. But from February till now, it's become a very viable product. I mean, we have, sure, that's pretty awesome. We have customers using it and really good use cases and the functionality, and it's there. So right. it's a perfect time to talk about it. So standard out there is PDF document management. I think that's across the board in industry. That's kind of the market standard, if you will. Docs still has those capabilities, right? You can absolutely dissect PDF sets. But I think where it really differenti differentiates itself uh, is the 3D aspects, right? When mm -hmm. you can actually leverage uh, native data, whether it be AutoCAD, whether it be Revit, you know, some of the more common authoring tools out there, the ability to actually update upload those directly into docs and actually get that rich uh, 3d environment with you know all that metadata bim environment yeah um you know that way you're not actually managing a pdf publish you're you're really just going off the raw data you know being this close to the screen and zooming in it's almost like vr out of the corner of one eye yes <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah i mean i think ap's on to the, the bigger topic here which is um extensively getting information to to the project team mm -hmm. and what i like about docs is you know we, we talked about the, the revit file uploads so i let's say we're a mid-tier small mechanical or whatever let's just put a label on it i don't own revit mm -hmm. i don't own it i don't want to own it i don't want to train people on it i don't want to hire people on it right so i'm a part of a project team that may be using it i'll simply i'm a i'm a recipient of the the information that comes for that revit model i don't now I need to have it. Mm -hmm. So somebody could send me that Revit file and I could upload it into Docs and I automatically have what I need to do what I need as that mechanical contractor yeah. without having to invest in Revit, train, whatever. Mm. So that to me, that, I mean, that starts to make sense to me when, mm -hmm. I, when we talk about changing the way business is done and being able to make this information accessible. Yeah, completely so agree. You just said a, a key point and, and it goes again to the second part of my question is what feeds Revit? I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, what feeds docs? Sure. How do you do it? And and what do you do with it? A lot. <laughs> we, can, we can go through a workflow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll I go through a little demo here and show you what we can do. At its base point, right, the idea being that you can upload any type of data structure to it. And it's a static upload, right? So if you're replacing a document set that's derived off of a Revit model, um, you can exactly that. Just grab your Revit model, just do a static upload of it, and it basically reversions the entire document set for you. Um, PDF set, very similarly, if you have a multi-page PDF, go through that upload process in the plans tab at the top, 
uh, basically dissects that document set for you. Um, so like, like you can see on the screen right now, uh, all the documents Jared has up are all derived natively from, a, from an RVT file. And I think one of the things to do is, uh, the other piece to talk about docs is, um, in, in the construction environment, uh, you know, we would say trust is probably not as high. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the, what are the differentiations between team and docs. I mean, we have a very open environment in team. We have a very closed environment of docs for a very good reason. So docs is basically set up to maintain everything in here. So uh, all the versions, all the markups, mm -hmm. all the issues, uh, anything that we create pretty much stays in the system. We can certainly put it in the recycle bin, but we can never really permanently delete it. And that's... In our business, unfortunately, we have we have litigation, we have yep. finger pointing, and um, docs is a way to maintain that information uh, and, and maintain the connections between those so uh, bits of information. Could you show the yeah the let's, version compare? Let's do that. Um, let's go through. I mean, I think what we should it. do is just go through it. I'm going to yeah, use absolutely. AP as my my Perfect. assignee. Um, yeah, yeah, I think suffice to say that we've already added AP to the project. Um, we won't go into a lot of that right now, but sure. he's my contractor or my architect. Let's say he's the architect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through a scenario here. What we're gonna do is, at this specific sheet, this came from our Revit model. We're on version, we have two versions, right? We have a, a V1 and V2. We're gonna actually do a version compare. I'm gonna click on that. Now, if I had more than two versions, which is they very likely, they don't show in there. I, can, I can choose which ones to also compare you can do against. A version five versus version one. Or you can, you can even do a compare against the two different ver not not just the versions you can actually go out into a different sheet and compare another sheet against that so if you wanted to overlay a, a floor plan or an elevation plan over whatever you could do that so what does that look like let's show you so i'm going to compare here i'm going to let it paint and so when you say paint it, is it essentially just taking those two sheets and just that's a, actually on top of each other, sandwich. almost like a, almost yep. like a light table. Yeah, it's kind of a light exactly. table. But I think the the notion of paint is in our viewer, this viewer accommodates both PDFs as well as DWG output and that 3D model viewer. So it's all in the same engine, mm -hmm. which is actually kind of nice. Yeah. Definitely. So we've got uh, we've got our view here. Let's zoom in, um, and I'm going to actually click this little eye droplet, which which basically says on on this side, version one. Actually, let me redo it. On ver this side, version one, and on this side is version two. And you mm -hmm. probably can't see it too well. There's actually a slider here. And what I can do is slide over the document to expose that slick. anything that may be different between the two versions. So what I'm basically saying here is, guess what? Somebody omitted the doors in version two. They We're forgot to put them in. Because if you look in version anymore. two, look at that. Yeah. So, so now I've known there's a problem. I'm reviewing this. Yep. Um, I see there's a problem. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and uh, and rectify this. Uh, I'm having issues getting to my barrel here, so I have to squeeze down. So, one thing too is I, I'm noticing, and definitely what we have in Revit is the ability to um, double click on a callout and jump right to that yeah, detail. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. That's didn't automated in docs. We, we it's all in here. We didn't cover that. Um, but certainly you notice these little blue marks um, right here. So I can actually hover, click. I can see the sheet that I'd be jumping to. And if I want yeah. to, I can go straight to that view. Because how many times have we sat there with that tree trunk of plans? Trying to figure through. out oh, trying to what's the connections. What's right. the connection? Where's the elevations? Where's, where's that where's, detail? Yeah. Where's the and detail? You're from yeah. A101 to A401 to A601. Yep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's just, See mechanical plans. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, the auto. Those callouts are all linked. Huge. So, yep. so I'll, I'll actually go back to that document because we're we, we know this is our document. We have the omission in those doors. We already have issues here. These little yellow boxes. We already have issues here, um, but we know that there's a door missing here because this is version two. So yeah. we want to we want to let other people know about this. It's part of our process. First of all, we can actually uh, create a markup. We're going to add a markup. And all this is viewable to all the stakeholders in the project, right? Or all the all the, everybody who has permissions to get. That's to this correct. Sheet. Yep, that's so correct. So whatever you're doing, it it's real time. They're going to see it. As soon, yeah, as soon as it's saved as as it's and uh, ready yep, to the project. That is yeah. So awesome. Yep. I and mean, how long does it take to get issues from one entity to another? Right. And well, what information is lost, and all of a sudden it's. Uh, 
I mean, historically, I can't tell you guys how many hours I've spent just marking up an Adobe Reader For and sure. then like emailing <laughs> it out. Yeah, and that's by the time it's ch and it's changed. Remember the red pens? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, the problem there too is you don't have access to everybody, and that's yeah. obviously in this environment everybody can see. That's right. Red lines. Yeah. So, in this case, uh, this is where that door was. Just I just simply created a. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, a, a little red mark here. But if I want to go further, I can actually add an issue. Let's go formally add an issue. So I click add. I'm going to create it to, I'm um, sorry, we'll pop the pen here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so going to create it. Give the location of where this as is. Open. And shoot people right to the right location on that sheet. Yep. Basically just pinning to the, to the plan. One thing I like about this too, in the, you know, as you're building this out in issues, you know, it automatically starts it off as like a blue icon, right? So all these correct. are color coded. That's correct. That's a that's a great you know, great call. As you go to open, it's basically you know it goes to yellow. But as you close something out or you know answer it, it Change turns to green and turns to gray, basically archiving it. Yeah. But depending on the status, so it's got a visual <laughs> aspect to it as you're moving. It's nice. So it's easy to see. Yes, exactly. We'll show on the iPad too what it looks like right. uh, here in a bit, but. Um, and going through creating this issue, obviously, you guys touched on a couple topics, but I'm going to assign it to, um, there he is, there's AP right there, and I'm going to give him a date. I'm going to give him till tomorrow to get this figured out. Thanks, Jared. Just I know, I'm brutal. Pushing the envelope. As soon it's 5 o'clock. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock. As soon as I hit done. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I hit done, automatically takes it out of my queue and pushes it to AP, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's in AP's court. And yep. so... What AP would do in this scenario, I'm assuming, as the architect, hey, I put him on a watch. We've got a missing door. Somebody in your team changed the version, and we missed a door. Yep. They would obviously verify that, update it. Um, it would then get reassigned to me. By them answering that issue, they reassigned it back to me. I just heard his email go off. That's Boom. Right. Ping. He's it's got it. A notification. Um, <laughs> let's push that to AP. Yeah, Absolutely. So here in the in the projects, this is the first time I'm accessing this this project. I'll just go ahead and download the most current version. But I guess as a starting point, right, just to reiterate what we just went through, my email, right, Boom. just got invited to this project. Yep, fantastic. Uh, just got sent this uh, missing door issue, you know, and this actually hyperlinks directly off my iPad, so right. I can just hit Boom. new issue. It takes issue. me directly to it. Right, right. thing traveled so. to outer space and back. Really, yeah, really fast. It would have been quicker if we just could have gone oh boy. straight to him. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> since you guys are working right next to each other, you wouldn't want to communicate and just lean over the side of the table like, hey, there's yeah. a problem here. Because nah, I shoot it up and down. Well, right. because yeah, I could be lying, right? And I could have forgot I said that to you and called you a liar and sued you. Well, so, then, so <laughs> now you have that accountability. How many times Absolutely. when we've talked about these BIM products that you talk about that accountability and that uh, the transparency? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So now, now on my end, right, I have the ability to navigate my set. However, I need, you know, full functionality as far as navigating, you know, specific floor plans. Um, you know, if I had used that hyperlink, it would be taking me right to it. Yeah. But nonetheless, right, the, the, the ability to navigate the set via the iPad, that's, you know, Stephen, you've dealt with this countless times on the, in the field, right? Stack of drawings, moving around. Yeah, you don't have that detail. Right. Someone's missing a detail, missing yeah. drawings. You're two miles from the job trailer, and you're going to find some detail, and you're not there. Right. Now, you also have the ability to download these sheets, or like, let's say you're going to go out, and you know you don't have connectivity. connectivity Grab yep. what you need. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have it on your iPad. Or iPhone, right? Or so that's iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. yeah. So you're always connected. So I was actually, I was home a couple weeks ago, and my aunt asked me, well, what do you do? And I was like, well, let me show you something that we use. And I pulled up Docs, LTE service, and it was lightning fast. And it, I was surprised. That just off of just, I mean, I don't even know how many megs down and up. Yeah, LTE it's fast. Gives you, but and in the 3D model viewer. Yeah. So you don't even need to drag around an iPad. You can pull around an iPhone that sits in your pocket. Yeah. You have all the information that you need right there. It's it's our next gen, if you will, um, viewer, and it's and it's, we're actually streaming directly to the browser in that case, which is super fast. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're not. We're not messing with cash or anything like that. We're actually streaming it right to the. That's why all this stuff comes in pretty quickly. So and you'll, you, all your, it's like a virtual machine in a way where you're just. Um, I'll pay, just sounded like the guy from The Simpsons. You want to pay for the plastic? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. But where you're you're just accessing a portal, and all the power is in that somewhere portal. else. Somewhere it's else being shoved to you as you need it. 
that basically. Is, that's amazing. Yeah. So even if you were out and about and you wanted to tether off your uh, tether your iPad off of your phone and you're in the middle of nowhere, absolutely. To be, let's say you're working on you need a big, bigger viewer, you could do that. That's fantastic. I mean, you, you, you know, the functionality here uh, you saw. <laughs> hey, thanks. Right. I mean, if I have to convey information of what's actually going on, if I'm in the field. Some oh, guy sitting at a desk right talking in. nonsense. <laughs> <And> it's, <laughs> it's now, it's now. <laughs> We're going to be in this too nonsense. You actually see the door behind Steven. So that was, yeah. it's. The door's applicable. actually there. It's yeah. been no answered. That he didn't right. know what he was talking right. about. This yep. has been answered. It's green. It changed color. Yep. Um, I can go through. So what happens as the issuer of that, that specific issue, I'm now, it's in my court because yep. you've answered it. So mm -hmm. now it's up to me to take a look at it. So we pass this puck of. Accountability, which has to happen in our yep. environment, it, it's 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 paramount. That's pretty awesome. So we'll we'll show what that looks like in my view. It's going to change. Look, we can even see. You can see me before. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, we'll make this, <coughs> this photo might, downloadable for everybody. Yeah, this might not make it into the final edit. <laughs> oh wait a minute, it's live. Chuck's. But we've obviously closed the loop on this issue, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we have verified that that door is still missing. Nine times out of ten, you're going to go. Hopefully, go back, and your team as an architect and update. And all you'd have to do is upload a new Revit model, right? Automatically, yep. it's going to reversion it, and it's going to change that. And as a contractor, then I would go back and make sure that the change was was uh, was added, and then close that issue. And boom, we've just round tripped an issue fairly quickly with quick. with a lot of different tools in between. Yep. So absolutely awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, I I, um, I think I think Docs is one of those. Uh, obviously, we know it's going to mature in in our world uh, right. in Autodesk, and for our our customers, it's 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 really going to be a connection point. It is that seed that turns into a tree <laughs> for a lot of a lot of the other functionalities. Hey, could have gone a while without that are in our that are in our our future, right? Taking totally. this and turning it into something that we can go commission against uh, a document, um, go mm -hmm. punch list off of a same document that was originated in the design yeah. phase. I completely agree. I mean, it's. It's great to see where it is today. I think it's at a, at a very yeah. good place today, but it's just going to get better. Yeah. It's, and to so. be honest with you, I logged in today, and uh, it's, been a, it's been probably a, two weeks. Mm -hmm. the, the whole template creation has changed, yep. and it just is much better. Yeah, you can see it evolving. Boom, which is it great. just happened. Yep. The, pro the program does evolve very quickly. Yep. So, so and that's, I think that's something, too, that uh, uh, I think everybody needs to know is that every three weeks we are doing something in this platform. Definitely. So awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, Great. thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, guys. Questions, concerns, comments, uh, suggestions for our new topics, please let us know. And uh, we'll see you next time. He's losing his voice. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everyone. It may never come back. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>